everyone, it's Peter and Lori <laughs> with Prophetic Watchman 88. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I need a drum roll. I need a drum roll. It's Thursday. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> our handy little friend from our beautiful friends in Christ. We love you, family. Very much. You know who you are. Just a noisemaker. But noisemaker. He's got oh, all kinds. Oh. He loves it. Oh, I I've have been... to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, little Billy says hello. Little Billy's here. Okay. We all here? How you doing, Lori? I'm doing okay. Talk to them. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> and blessings. Okay. Blessings. <laughs> Blessings. Okay, we were discussing. you. Oh yes, we were discussing before we jumped on here, uh, because we're goofy. Um, we said, you know what? We're the silly watchmen. <laughs> we, we are prophetic. We're absolutely prophetic in Christ, the Holy Spirit, yeah. all that. And God says, you're the silly watchmen. Yeah. We're on the wall, and we're the ones over there playing in the corner with ching 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 ching. You know, it's <laughs> somebody else out. Hey, you two. Yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right, all right, all right. We goof off a little bit, but. Hey, but why not? We're supposed to goof off. We're supposed right. to hey, goof off. Hey, when, when we first got married, Pete did the most funny things. Uh -oh. You know, he just, he was like, he's like a walking comedian. And the, <laughs> and the, and the, and the fact that he bumps into everything, mm. he falls all the time. He's the only person I know that falls going up the stairs. <laughs> um. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. So anyway... And I, I, I told him, I oh. said, you know what? I think that God created you just for the laughs. I think so. And you said, I, I mean, think so. Now you said, more too, yes, you said, you said when we first got married, it st might have started, but all through our marriage. I mean, I, yeah. when I was the army member, I'd come home in that one house because we had those, that long floor in the kitchen and I would run. I'd have my wool, green wool socks from the army <laughs> and I would run and I'd slide all the way across the floor and wham, right into the refrigerator. And it was fun, and she, that's when she started saying that. But that well, actually, actually, I said it way before that. Right, right, right. We had a glass coffee table. Oh, that's different. Go ahead. And he was walking on his hands across the living room. <laughs> I was like, and he almost broke it. But I fell on it. Yeah, he fell on it. And he almost broke it, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be a long fifty years. <laughs> I love 50 years. <laughs> what did I commit to? No. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. But no. He yeah. still to this day is banging. If there, there's not a corner in this house that he hasn't banged his head on. My hips are get black and blue because I, I don't really, I guess I know where I'm going. And I, but I don't watch for the sharp edges and wham, wham, I get I, I, Why are we talking about this? But this does happen all the time. Guys, hello. <laughs> Jesus. And you know, not, not very long ago, he almost killed himself by what? Uh, because our a light bulb went oh. out in our uh, microwave. This was about a year or two ago, right? About two years. About ago. About two years At ago. It's more than a little bit uh -huh. more than that. Right in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, can I just? Okay, it was in the microwave. Okay, and the and the, and the light bulb broke under the microwave. Right, because so, it's over the stove. There you go. Right. And so we don't have it anymore. But um, I, I, it was broken, so I go, well, how am I going to get this out? And not thinking, not thinking, not thinking. I just grabbed a pair of pliers, and I said, I'm just going to grab it and then twist it and pull it out. So I grabbed the pair of pliers. I didn't notice the two wires that were exposed. I was just trying to grab the light bulb, and I clamped on the two wires. Now, if those, if those, if those uh, uh, pliers were not insulated, because they had the, the gripping, I would have died instantly that day. And that's a true statement. What happened was, all I remember watching when I, as soon as I clamped down on them, there was a massive arc spike that went yeah. Yeah. and it hit my uh, plant and I, whoa, and I got back. Because remember, I didn't take off the electricity of the house or nothing. I just said, I could do this. Boom, boom, boom. A big old arc. And to this day, I don't know where they are, but on those pliers, the metal pliers, there is a black sinking hole right there through the metal like lightning struck like where it. lightning struck it <laughs> and i stopped and i thanked god i said you didn't kill me i mean i literally i could have died if i would have grabbed the other pliers that were just all metal you would not be speaking Dang. to me right now i'm just saying i'm just saying i don't know why you brought that up but uh <laughs> that's one of those i'm just saying wow yeah and wow. Then, and and, and <laughs> it, it killed the microwave it, here's the microwave yeah. 
<laughs> that's that's what happened to my our microwave, and yeah. so. <laughs> Why are we talking about this? Well, I mean, turn it in a good way. God protected this stupid person. This miraculously, twinkie. this Twinkie in a ding dong world, and I'm still alive because of God. Yes, so yes. thank you, Lori, for bringing all those things up. <laughs> now they all know that we truly are the silly watchmen. <laughs> I'm not going to change the name. Because no, <laughs> but, no, no. But no. we get silly now and then, and you know, and and sometimes our silliness offends people. And for all of you that get offended, we're sorry. Well, I wasn't going to say sorry. I was going to say, well, praise God, you're offended. <laughs> it's okay to be offended. Well, you know what the Bible... <laughs> and, and we're sorry a You know what bit, the Bible but... says about being hmm. offended? What? Don't. Don't be... <laughs> well, when someone lays an offense at your feet, don't pick it up. We can choose to be offended or not to be offended. Not sure why we're on this topic, but if you guys, all of us, all of us in Christ, Jesus, we have the decision to, do I pick up that offense or do I... Let it lay there, forgive and move on. Right, right. It's real. Now, mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I'm a human. I pick up a lot of those offenses and it out when I'm out in the world. I'm like, oh, how dare they? Oh, blah, 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 you know? And then God says, calm down, calm down, right? Yeah. And He has to settle me. Yes. Okay. Yes. Woo! <laughs> wow. That, that was like, uh, I don't know how we got there, but it's okay. Good. God wants We're going to hear it from Belly about this. Billy. These noise makers. <laughs> Yo, Billy, you got the, uh, you see this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Okay, I'll try. I'll take it away from him. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are filled with the joy of the Lord right now. Okay, and we just want to hold on to that. The joy of the Lord is our strength. We are going through a time when we need strength. I, I, can I, this might be for somebody out there. Can we say this? Yes, we, we talked about in, uh, the, in, in the spirit realm, things are getting ramped up, right? There's a the tremor in the forest. There's a disturbance in the forest. All those things, things are getting more pressurized and all that. In those times is when we really need to focus on Jesus Christ and he brings us through those things so we can uh, enjoy God. Even in all hell is breaking out, we are in Christ Jesus and, and he has us. Yeah. And we're actually going to learn about that today a little bit, yeah. but, I, but, but again, mm -hmm. in a different way, but we have to be in yeah. Christ Jesus, right? Right. You okay? Yeah. What you gonna say? Go Continue ahead. Continue to pray for the worldwide bride. Yes. Uh, um, our our brothers Dan, Watchman Dan, right. and um, Billy. Bo Bill Voice. Bailey, who's over in UK, and all those guys in the UK. Voice of Reason. Oh yeah, Voice of Reason. And um, they are in the UK, and there's it's going crazy over there. Yeah, bonkers. Um, <clears throat> well, what's funny is not funny. Not we're praying funny. for you guys. We're praying for you guys because Billy told us a, a few weeks ago of all the things that were going on in England, and, and Lori and I were going, what? We haven't heard a single no, thing about this. No, it's not this. on the news here. Right. At all. Right. And so we have to go uh, dig and yeah. find those articles and those uh, news reports because they're not telling us what's right. truly going on over there. So anybody in the UK, go ahead and put a UK. And if you're praying for the UK, put a UK pray in the comments. The right. Yeah. Pray, so pr pray for the UK. In Israel. Of course. In Israel, of, of course. course. But well, mm -hmm. on your point, the whole bride seems to be getting thoughts uh, from the enemy, bringing up old things, bringing up things where you failed, bringing up things where you're weak, and look, you didn't do this right, you didn't right. do that right, and it can be consuming. He's called the accuser of, of the brethren. That's right, he is definitely called that. Whew. And so, we rebuke, renounce, and forsake yes. the enemy, and we look to Jesus Christ, we're empowered by the Holy Spirit, right? Yep. Yes, okay. It's funny because the Lord keeps sh telling me about remembering what he's done for us that inspires our faith there you go go back and look at what he's done and how he's put pieces together and how you know um yeah 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 he's the the master puzzle what do you call him when you put a puzzle together the put a puzzle, puzzle puzzler. together person he's a puzzler the master puzzler. <laughs> you know what i'm saying god has all the pieces he puts them all in the right order and he you know boom you're funny he's the puzzler we're a little loopy, it's okay. We, we, we're in war, we're in the battle, it's okay. And in that time, you have to rejoice, even... We're a little dumbstruck. <laughs> dumbstruck? <laughs> a couple of twinkies in the ding-dong world that's getting ding-donger every moment. Yeah. And, and, and when you're in those times where uh, you feel overwhelmed, okay, God shows us and tells us, if we read his word, if we believe, if we uh, pray to him, he shows us how to get through every single thing that we're going through right now. Yeah, and sometimes it's just a step at a time. Baby steps a, to the rapture. A day at a time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, Shoto and Hannah, they for the first time saw, what about Bob? 
Not sure if they we liked it or not. I don't know if they liked it or not. But we love that movie because mm -hmm. it's so hilarious. And so all I can say is baby steps to the rapture. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Whew. Okay, for those of you that might not know, I, I, I wasn't going to share this, but today, this right here is an actual cup of coffee. It's not water. So can you get yours? We're going to do a little toast. Toast to every, uh, the whole bride out there. Toast to Lake Jesus Tahoe. Christ. Lake Tahoe. We're rebels for One Christ. One of my very favorite places to go. It's so beautiful there. There you go. I miss it. <laughs> so, anyway, we're all going through the trials, tribulations, and the birth pains. <clears throat> what does that mean? That means we hold on to Christ even more. We grab all the one another's and we yeah. hold on to one another even more. We love even more. Right? And we rejoice even more. I was thinking about some of the videos that we've done. And the, well, we've done a lot, you know, but the recent ones, let's say. It really, really goes with the times that we're going through right now and really focusing us on Jesus Christ and the one yeah. another's. Because we can't do it without one another. We're in Christ together all over the <clears> globe, <throat> right? Yeah. And before I forget, Please hit like, share, and subscribe, make comments, help the Word of God go all over the planet, right? Yeah. And we're praying for Israel, absolutely, yes. and blessing them and speaking shalom into them. And we're praying for the worldwide ecclesia, God's global yeah. ecclesia. And we pray for our subscribers every night, every yes. one of you. Yeah. And we, we're praying, you know, we're every, we've are every we been getting together right. yeah. pretty much every night and um, praying for all these things, you know, um, because we want to be faithful with yes. you guys and we encourage you guys to pray for us back <laughs> and <laughs> our front <laughs> and we know you do many right, of you have right. said how much you guys are praying for us so and believe me we, and we love it. it oh god we, we love it thank because you. you know why i i know that the lord rejoices in it yes. because he wants us working together he rejoices <laughs> and that's the whole body of christ we're laughing at the enemy because he can't do nothing he can't yeah. do nothing. You know how I I do, <clears throat> I put my phrases in and then I go look at the numbers in a gematria and then I look at the numbers in the Blue Letter Bible and I just feel like sometimes it's, you know, he's giving me a message and I'm telling you, it used to be I'm coming soon and now it's like <clears throat> the door is about to open. Right. I, I I'm here now. I almost, like, you know what I'm saying? It's now. Right. That's what it's I keep the... getting is now. Yeah. And what happens right after. Because right. it's, that seems to come up a lot. And what's funny that you say that, because, now, understand, Lori has her love fest with God during the second watch, which is around before and after midnight, right in that time. And then God gets me up. He's been really knocking on me to get up, but I get up between 3 and 5 a.m., and that's the fourth watch. And so, at night, we come together, and then we just... Uh, pray for everybody we we try to you know seek god and all, all whatever god's doing right whatever god's doing but it's it's not just me it's not just her but it's god in all of us getting together and sharing his good news you know yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. and it, it's just been uh it's been a time like i said we're all going through trials tribulations and the birth pains but god will deliver us out of them all yeah out of them all yeah and I, like i said Lori, now back to this, Lori has not seen these, these slides yet, okay? Because we get together, we say, okay, we're going to do this, this, and this. And then we put the slides together. She hasn't seen these, okay? So what some of the, I'm laughing mm -hmm. because some of the things that she's talking about, we're literally going to be going over. Yay. And I'm like, what? So she's tapping into prophetic there. Anyway, <laughs> so, <sighs> okay. This is for all of our uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, all of our subscribers. And the reason is because we want to celebrate you as well. We celebrate in Christ by the Holy Spirit and we truly love each and every one of you guys and, and we just do, we're one. I don't. I can't say that enough, okay? So we're doing the one another's even in this video, all right? Okay. Okay, now, <laughs> there, there, it was funny. Ah, I don't wanna say it because I, it'll just add more to the whatever. But I'm doing my best to when she speaks, I'm gonna keep silent or just in agreement because I want to get everything out of her that the Holy Spirit is speaking through Lori, right? Yeah. And the only reason why he does do it is because he is so excited. It's not that he, you know, dominates over me. Mm -hmm. There is no way that he dominates over me. Okay? 
<laughs> that is a, that kind of girl. <laughs> that's a true statement. Um, I've given him a left hook before, and I'll do it again. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, I, I okay. I don't want to go there. It's our past. I don't want to go there. You know, but but yes, the thing is, we are one. We're yeah. equal, not the same, but we're equal. Yeah. And God brings us together to get the the bigger picture. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so I, I try my best. And and here's a great thing. She'll almost never talk over me because I don't know when to stop talking. Blah, 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 blah. Right, 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 right. So, but for all of you guys that are worried, no disrespect here. We love one another. We love one another. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Okay, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> yeah, what I wanted to say was there are, uh, I don't know if you want to call them, I'll call them this, wolves in sheep's clothing. And they, they make comments on uh, all the watchmen that are out there, right? I, I, it's almost a, a same group of people. And, and they're trying to belittle them. They're trying to knock them down. They're trying to silence them. All of us, right? And they're saying very, really stupid, ungodly things. Right. right? And, you, and if you know it's the same people because they're saying the same things to everybody. Right. Like you're not... You're not um, right. From God and right, all right. this stuff. They're yeah. just really, really accusing there the you brethren. go. Yeah. There you go. And if so, if you see uh, any of those uh, accusing of the brethren, that is not from God. No. I don't know how else to make our lives more exposed to you in Christ right. Jesus right. But than what we do here because that's part of what we do. It's like yeah. you see us in Christ and our journey, right. how we're going with Christ, right? right. And, and so some people only see a little bit of us and then they make a comment that's trying to be destructive and they do that to all kinds of people um right. i think uh you Watch said Watchman river, river. Just, john he did a great job yeah he just uh, addressed the same thing and i knew it was the same group because they were saying the same things to us there you go so you know right and that happens to um uh barry barry and yes. daniela what you know all those guys barry, oh tyler all you and name we it to, aaron we try to delete it as soon as we see right it, so. right right because we know that's not it's not truth and no. it's no, it's, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's the enemy. And so we're just going to go through. Yeah. We're out of there. Yep. Okay. Yep. So we don't, you don't have to agree with us, right. but we won't tolerate horrible um, no. comments no. because this is, we're rejoicing. There you go. We're in a rejoicing state. Right. right. And if you can't take the silliness, Encourage. right. If you can't take the silliness, you're free to move along. <laughs> we're not forcing you to watch this video. Anyway, I don't want to get too much on that. Um, but we've already been at 17, which is victory, so I think we can, on that one, put a lid on it, right? Yeah. We okay? Okay. So, we are here to have some fun. Yeah. And we're going to dive into the scriptures, and uh, we present this to you guys, okay, in Christ Jesus. Now, as we go through this, take this before God. This, I, I, I don't want to, I don't say this lightly. Everything we hear and see, and all, we, we take it before Almighty God, and we test the spirits, and we keep everything that's of God, and anything that's not of God, we throw it away because we don't need it. It's not of God, right? And you do the same thing with our stuff. We're we're pretty tough cookies in Christ. So if you say, well, I don't, I disagree with this, this, and this, that's fine. You got a reason? We'll read it and we'll we'll talk about it. Anyway, but this right here is going to be fun. So I want us all to engage. <clears throat> um, it's. It's Psalms 18. Psalm 18. Yes, the rapture. I was reading it. In fact, can I say this? It was uh, a Brother John, watchman for that great day. And he's going through a lot. Pray, please pray for John, too. We pray for him. He's amazing. He was one of the first that helped us get a, a channel and get us going and subscribers and things like that. But he started reading. He goes, let's read Psalms 18. And I don't, I don't even know the rest of what he talked about because I said, well, hold on. And I hit pause in the video. I went to Psalm 18. I started reading Psalm 18. And I went, what? I mean, I honestly, I, I was like, Wow! And it's the just seeing the whole thing, the rapture everywhere. It's just, okay. So, I'm sure I've read Psalm 18, but now with fresh eyes, yeah. God is just like all over this. And so I, I had to share that. we got to share this stuff, okay? Right, right. <clears throat> oh, you ready? That's the most fun part about all the research that we do. Go ahead. Is how the Bible is really coming to life. Oh, 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 oh. And how I feel, I can feel <laughs> myself retaining it. And I'm so yes. excited about that. Yes, I, it's awesome. Because I haven't before. I haven't, not like this. Right. But when you spend three or four hours a day in the Word. At least, and then praying all, yeah. And, and, and right. Studying, yeah. And it comes it, flying wow. at you. Yeah. Now, can I just say the Word of God? It is alive. <laughs> <laughs> it is alive and well. And, and, and oh, okay. well, I don't want to start preaching right now. I'm just saying the Word of God is amazing. It is right here. It is 66 books, scrolls, 
all of it true. All of it is the truth. The word of God, it is alive. And, and God delivered it to all of us so that we can have it. So we know exactly, exactly what has happened, what is happening, and what's going to happen. It's all prophecy from beginning to end. It is the testimony of Jesus Christ, right? It's amazing. Okay. Okay. We haven't even got to our message yet. This is wonderful. Okay. So, you ready? Before we get started on the rest, but right above our heads, just saying, if, if the Holy Spirit moves upon your heart to donate to this ministry, this is an actual ministry, there are some ways that you can do it right there. And if you email us because you want maybe uh, an address to send what something to us or whatever, we'll send you our, 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 our address. But it does, the email is in the description below. So thank you to all that support, all your prayers, everything. Yes, we so much. love you. Yes, yes, we appreciate it. Because we're, again, not, not mm -hmm. anything, but we're going through the end times with you guys. So right. we can use your support. Right. 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 So um, I just want to say this one thing because this okay. is crazy. Please go. So <clears throat> we know that July is really high on our um, uh, PG&E. Oh, 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 which okay? is electric, electric and, and gas. And Gavin Newsom, that's <laughs> SOB. That's sorry, Sap. Go um, ahead. He, uh, he, you know, hiked up the him and oh. PG&E. They hiked up the prices. Huge. Well, a, a couple months ago, we called PG&E for help. Right. We can't make our payments. It's just too high. So right. they lowered our payments for us. Yes. Praise God. Yes. So I was like, really, kind of like, what's it going to be? So, um, the average Californian from Fresno, which is only okay. two hours from us, Go it's ahead. very hot there. Right. They are always about five degrees more than us. But anyway. Um, their uh, electric bill was fourteen hundred, what and something dollars for just July. Whoa, 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 whoa! Because you can't turn your air off at night. Not in Fresno. Not in Fresno. Here you can. Yeah. Here you can because we get the Delta breeze and it cools off. But in Fresno, it stays hot twenty four seven. Right. Right. That's a ridiculous. That is a ridiculous amount. So yeah. go ahead. So we got ours was a lot less than that, but it was yes. still high. Right. And it was like it would probably be before they hiked the prices what are oh you know, i see i see i see okay <clears throat> but so, you know that it, still it is what it is it's crazy it is it crazy. is just cra they are price gouging everything Every everything what was the other day uh, well i think we posted a lot a while ago on our community page uh, for a whipping cream for the, the oh yeah the, was a, a belt this big what was that a, a, a gallon quart. a quart was fifteen dollars <laughs> over fifteen dollars for a whipping cream yeah and, and and the price of eggs has gone back up. I think it's like oh. eight dollars a dozen. Right. I'm I'm so happy that someone sent us Twinkies in the mail <laughs> because I don't right. even want to buy Twinkies out here. They're so expensive. <laughs> oh, oh, on that note, can I just say this? I didn't take a picture. I was going to take a picture the other day in, in the grocery store. Um, they had the hostess, all the hostess stacked up. Right. They had all the hostess stacked up, and so I was looking at this big formation of hostess goodies, and guess what? The Twinkies were gone. Now, we know that we're a couple of Twinkies. That means probably all of us in Christ are a few Twinkies. Yes, it was Twinkies. prophetic. Yes, it was Twinkies prophetic. Were the Twinkies were prophesying. They were gone. And all that was left was the mess. Okay, anyway. Yes, silly. We are silly. The silly we're Twinkies. Twinkies. Yes, we're okay. Are you ready? Can we now get into this? Oh, my goodness gracious sakes. We are 20, 23 minutes in. Here we go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you want to have some fun, this is the time right now. We're having fun. This is the video right here. So let's so click So get it. your snacks. Oh, there you get go. Get your popcorn. Yes. Get your Bibles. There you go. Get your highlighters. And get your sound effects. <laughs> and we're all going to enjoy this together. And we're going to, the reason, I'm, we're going to go slow. As slow as I can. As slow as I can, guys. Here we go. Here we go. All right, Ooh. Psalm 18. Now, I'm not even going to read this verse yet because we're going to go over it in detail. But do you see this on the left-hand side? This is the picture that God gives us in these scriptures, okay? It is a, a fortress, a castle, a, a, a secure place on a high mountain, the rock. And you can even see the rock is, is actually one with this fortress. Wow. Okay? And it's high above. Uh -huh. The reason they did that, because you can't get attacked. In this kind of, it's very hard to attack this kind of place. It's very hard to get at someone who is in the center of that kind of place. Is this our hiding place? There you go. This is our hiding place, right? So mm -hmm. I just want, I saw that picture and I had to use it because that is, I have a great imagination, I think. But sometimes people need to see a picture to help them understand the word of God. 
And so as we're going through Psalm 18, this is the picture that you're going to see. Okay? And that's Why are all these poles on the top? Listen, I don't know. It's to raise flags. It's to be. It could be even crow's nest. I don't know if there's a crazy person that wants to get way up there and say, I want to have a really good look. <laughs> get as high as I can. <sighs> okay. Anyway, so that's the picture that we're going to see. And we're going to go over that scripture in a little bit, so I'm not going to read it down. But we're going over Psalm 18. So that's where we're going to go. Here we go. Now, <clears throat> Psalm 18 has 50 verses. Now, we're not going to go over all 50 verses. We're going to have a select few that we're going to go over. But... Here's what I wanted to tell you guys. Speaking strictly of numbers, now, Psalm 18. 18 is bondage, okay? Yes. 18 is bondage. Now, how do you get 18? And is right there. 8 plus 1 is 9, right? 9, 9 is 18. So let's, I just want to see what 9 is. The, the uh, Hebrew number 9 says this. Wrath. Ooh, ensnared, entrapped, judgment of man, a summation of man's works. So that's the one side of nine, okay? So if you're not on the right team, if you're not in team Jesus, <laughs> the Christ, then that nine goes to those things, the wrath of God. You're ensnared, you're entrapped, and you can't get out. You see what I'm saying? Now, the other side of nine, for those of us that are in Christ Jesus, it means this. <clears throat> Divine perfection magnified. So the perfection of God magnified, okay? It also means the fruit of the Spirit, because there's nine. And it's also the nine gifts of the Spirit. Our camera's acting wonky, but it's okay. So the nine fruit and the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, all right? Divine completeness. Woo! Conclusion of a matter. Woo-hoo! We're waiting for something to be concluded so that we can launch, okay? It also means um, last in the digits, the digits, but it's Mostly, it's the, the wonders of God, right? Because all his fruit, he, he is the vine. We are the branches. Yeah. Our father is the gardener. So he produces his fruit in us, through him, in us, on the branches where all the fruit hangs. So we are abundant in fruit so that the fruit of God, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, so that others may partake. Okay? So, again, have that picture in your head. Now, mm -hmm. 50, I'm just going to put it up here. Here's what 50 is. I, I saw this is pretty cool. 50 equals the Holy Spirit. Pentecost. Hold on one second. You mean yeah. the Feast of New Wine? Right? The Feast of New Wine, Pentecost. It's right around the corner. August 12th is the start. August 12th is the eighth day of Av, which starts off the Feast of New Wine. And right after that is what? The ninth and tenth of Av, which as far as um, Israel goes, it's a horrible day. So it's a great day for us horrible day for the ones that are left behind. You see what I'm saying? So that's Pentecost. It means deliverance followed by rest. Mm -hmm. So, wow. So all the, remember, we were talking about this, all the things that we're going through, all the ding-donginess of the world out there, we are about to be delivered, mm -hmm. saved from all those things. Grace multiplied and jubilee. Yeah. Now, remember what a jubilee is. <clears throat> it is where you, 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 I, some people say it's like a mulligan or a do-over. Everything is erased and you start fresh to go forward. All of your debt canceled, all of the things that are against you wiped away and you start fresh and brand new. So I, ha I, just, I just wanted to bring that because we are so close to Pentecost. Now again, Laura and I do not know the day of the rapture or the hour of the rapture, but we are in the season. God has shown us over and over and over. And we are just saying the highest watch time of all for the rapture is coming up right around the corner, mm -hmm. right? And today is August 8th. It is 8-8. 8-8. It is the, the great 88, Jesus Christ, right? Yes. Okay. <sighs> Can you have me a pencil? A pencil you shall have. I handed her a pencil. Okay, now, do you want a note piece of paper? No, I, I'll write right here. Okay, okay. So, again, that's, so I just had to get that. So, 18, Psalm 18, 50 verses, but we're only going through a few. But remember, Holy Spirit, Pentecost. So, let's dive right into, here we go. Psalm 18. You got it? Okay. Now, this is verse 1. A little bit before we go here. In your Bibles, okay, some of you will have introductions into the chapter, okay? So, in the Hebrew, it shows all of this. But the first part here is the introduction into Psalm 18. So, we're going to get a better idea of what God is talking about in this psalm, okay? okay? So, we're going to start with this. To the chief musician. Now, I've seen that a lot in different places, right? And there also is a hidden, not Saul right here, as you can see, 
uh, noon, Sade, Lamed. So there's a hidden not saw, which means our great escape, the harpazo, our rapture, right? God's rapture for us. But this word means this. So I had to say it. To excel, to be bright, to be preeminent. Now, who's preeminent in our life? Jesus. Jesus Christ. He is the preeminent one. He takes first place in our life, okay? To be perpetual, ever going, everlasting. To be an overseer. Remember, Jesus Christ, the shepherd, he is our overseer. Not just, not man. Jesus Christ is our overseer. He to is the, the one. To the chief musician. To the chief musician, all right? To be enduring. To act as an overseer, a superintendent, or director, or chief. Just, I had to say that because I want us to understand what's going on right here. God gives us prophetic clues all throughout the scriptures. We know that if you've seen more than one of our videos, you know the prophetic pictures that God has been announcing in his word. So you can read this and it's perfect and it means exactly what it says as well as we go deeper and we see a prophetic picture of Jesus Christ and his plan. And his plan is brilliant. <laughs> okay, here we go. So that's the first part. Now it says, <clears throat> look at this, a psalm of David. Now remember, when we read Hebrew, it's right to left and circular, okay? So to the chief musician, a psalm of David, the servant of Yahweh, the Lord, yod heh vav -Hey, Yahweh, okay? So David, who wrote this song, he's the servant of the Lord. Who, now David, who, who David, David spoke unto the Lord the words of this song. And right in the middle, hidden, of course, I get so excited when I see the hidden elephant tov, because this hidden elephant tov is directing us to the chief musician. That's right. All those things that we talked about, that is him. So David, a servant of the Lord, who spoke unto the Lord these words of this song that we're about to read, yeah. right? Okay. And when did he speak them? Ho, ho, ho. He spoke them in the day that the Lord delivered him. And that word is not so. Harpazo, rapture, be taken. So, again, a prophetic mm -hmm. picture of David announcing yeah. when Jesus Christ comes back. Now, again, David is speaking to the New Testament church, us, the ecclesia. When he comes back, he's coming back to deliver us, to not Saul, to take us out of what? The hand of all of our enemies. And from the hand of Saul. Now, again, a picture of the Antichrist, a picture of Satan coming down. We go, we're delivered, he's coming down, we are delivered, taken out of the way before Satan can come. Does that make sense? Yeah. He delivered us from all of our enemies. And, remember, because Satan has his little dominion, his little demons, his little spokesmen that are human, possibly even controlled by Nephilim, things like that, evil spirits, all those things. We are being taken out of all those places, not Saul. Okay, now the actual verse one is this right here. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Okay, that's the actual verse number one in Psalm 18. But in the Hebrew, it counts the whole thing as verse one because it gives a description of what's going on, what's about to take place. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope that makes sense. All right, now, <clears throat> did I put anything else here? Let me, I gotta click because I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the Lord, David is expressing his love to Yahweh, who is our strength, okay? Now, in that word strength, if you can see it, guys, it is Chet, Zayin, and Kuf. Now, just so we know those characters, um, actually, I'm, I'm going to mention it right here. I, I will... Okay, I, we know this, but I want you to see this. Okay, <clears throat> Chet, again, it's the place where God takes us that is private, it is his sanctuary. It is his inner room. So he takes us there. Now, that's Chet, okay? His sanctuary, his inner room. Now, Zayin is the seventh character. Chet is the eighth character. Zayin is the harvesting tool. Is to bring the harvest in. It is a sword also, right? So he, he's going to cut us off from this world and take us to his sanctuary, mm -hmm. his inner room. Now, you might say, well, who is he going to take? Well, that Kuf right there, that Kuf means the back of the head, but what it actually de is defined as is the least or the last. You could even say the remnant, God's remnant, which is his smaller collection that's on this earth, that is all of us in Christ, because compared to everyone that's on this globe, which is eight billion, God's remnant, his ecclesia, is a much smaller, the least of. Okay. In fact, I was reading um, in, in Corinthians, I don't remember, it was first or second, I can't remember right now, but it literally talks about 
God did not choose the perfect people. He didn't choose the ones that are mighty and great and all that. He chose the ones who are least, that are less than. He chose the, the misfits of the world. He chose the silly watchmen. You know what I'm saying? So that word right there, he has taken his remnant, his least, to his place. Now, Kuf, numerically, is 100. And that means this, God's election of grace. Remember, we are saved by grace through faith. His grace, his faith, not of our works. We cannot boast. It is his, his free gift, okay? It, is, it also means the children of promise. So again, in those Hebrew characters, God has just given us another example, a prophetic picture of what he's doing, who is he doing it to, and where are we going. So I have to lay it out like that because you'll see that come to, come to place in all of this psalm. Now, again, we're not going to go through all 50 verses. If you guys want to, please read because you'll get the context of what Dave is talking about. We're just going to pull some things out of there. Okay. I think... I beat that some one. Some little gems. You're going to see some gems, some bits of gold. You're going to see gold nuggets. You're going to go, what? And then some of you are going to go, <laughs> at some pieces, because it's just that cool. It is that cool. Okay, here we go. So that's just verse 1, okay? Psalm 18, verse 2. Now, right to left and circular, but I'm, I, have, I have each one highlighted. So look at this. The Lord, Yahweh, yod heh vav -Heh, the Lord, Almighty God, the Lord is my rock. Now, that's very specific we know what that mean, means and if you remember that picture that we saw of the the fortress on top of the rock if the rock was the solid foundation of that structure we all of us in christ are built upon the rock in the rock on the rock he is one with us right now because i am who i am i want to look at that hebrew word five 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 three very interesting number it means stronghold or security so again yes he's our rock he's also he's our stronghold and he's our security right? Or was it Linus that had a security blanket in, in Charlie Brown when he walks around? <laughs> that was his security. Our security is Almighty God. Okay. Also, Yahweh is our fortress. Very self-explanatory, but it also means stronghold or net. And at first I'm thinking, net? What do you mean net? Now remember what God does. He casts out his net and he caught the 153 <laughs> that, that represents the rapture his net comes out and his net surrounds us and it holds us and it brings us to him so we're all together in one gathered together gathered together unto our lord and savior jesus christ and i'm not going to go into these hebrew characters but right there in the middle you can see uh sade which is the the hook where he's going to rapture us out it's the harvest okay now yahweh is also our deliverer now our deliverer because you when we read English we see um, rock fortress deliverer saved all these things but it's it's it takes so many of our English words to describe what those Hebrew characters mean does that make sense so that's why I like to dig a little deeper to see what's also there so when we look at my deliverer this word right here this is what it means to escape obviously to escape okay so escape escape <laughs> funny I love it so he is our great escape he is of, of course our Savior our deliverer and to slip away so in all the things that we're going through we will slip out of out of the place out of there into his goodness because he is our security there it is again our security our deliverer our ca to cause to escape he is our great escape okay so again just want to give you the bigger picture of that word right there now next right here's where it says my God is my strength and that word is rock. Wait a minute, what? Yes, two different words that mean rock. So maybe God wants to pound into our head how he is the rock, the solid foundation, right? Yeah, stable. Stable. So it definitely our strength. Remember, the joy of the Lord is our strength. So when he pours his joy into us, it makes us strong. We can laugh in the face of danger. We can literally laugh in the face of danger, okay? And we can get through it. Now, in Yahweh, in God, I will put my trust. Now, I will try, again, I have to say, like, I, I hope you guys don't mind that I'm breaking this down because this, this verse 2 is so amazing. I will trust. And we all know that trust means to seek refuge. So we trust in the Lord. We flee to Him for our protection. We put our trust in God. We confide our or hope in God. God. Does that make sense? So that right there, I will trust. It, we are running to Almighty God. That's what that means, okay? In whom is my 
buckler or shield. He is our shield. Yes, he gives us the shield of faith, which quenches all the fiery darts of the enemy, all the attacks of the enemy. Boom, get blocked. Yeah. Okay? Anything you want to say, you add on to whatever you want to add on here. So he's our shield and the horn of our salvation. But again, me being me, I've always, when I hear the word horn, I, 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 I can't, I couldn't visualize it before. I want to know more what that means. Okay? So here's what it means. A horn, a horn of strength. So he's the power and the strength of our salvation. He is the original source of our salvation. Okay? <clears throat> and it talks about the, the horns that are on the altar in the temple of God. It also is rays of light. We know that Jesus Christ is light and he is his brightness shines through us. We yes. talked about that before. Well, this is say his rays of light come flying off of us. Okay? And of course, the hill. No one uh, lights a lamp and puts a cover on it, right? Our light, we're, we're cities on a hill. We are on him and we shine forth so that all of creation can see him through us. These are all the different things that, that God says that he is for us, okay? Now watch this. Now salvation, of course, is very simple. He's a horn of our salvation, and which is uh, yes, Yesha. And remember, that's a root for Yeshua, which is Jesus Christ. He's our salvation and our deliverance. Right here is also our deliverance, our rescue, and our victory. Amen. So he is the strength, the power of our salvation, which is our deliverance, rescue, and victory. All of it in Christ, in Yahweh. Yod Hey Vav Hey, Almighty God, Elohim, Yeshua Hamashiach, yeah. Jesus Christ the Messiah. Okay, you see what I'm saying? All right, now the last one here is, and my high tower. Now I can visualize what a high tower is, but I also want to look at it. It is just like we saw in that picture, the high place, the high, in, in military speak, especially old times, when you have the higher ground, you have the um, advantage over the enemy. So God takes us to the high ground so that we have advantage over our enemy right? He is our refuge and our stronghold. So he says stronghold one, two, three times to make sure we understand he is our stronghold. Yeah. He is our fortress and our refuge. Yes. Let me take a small drink. Yeah. Let that soak in right now so that you guys can get it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Also the horn, mm -hmm. on the horn, mm -hmm. you know, the announcement. <laughs> Yes. I, I didn't even think about that. Yes. Yes. That is awesome. I love that. I love because we're going to be hearing the horn. <laughs> He's going to be sounding yeah, off the horn. Like a blast. Yes. It's like a blast. I, I, don't, I don't have a, a horn blast on here or else I'd do it. That's okay. It's okay. But every time I see my wife, I say, <laughs> I had to do it because I love that button. Okay. <clears throat> and I do. I love it. Okay. You know why? Because he can't whistle. I, okay. You had to tell them. You have to tell them. All right. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> you are crazy. Okay, before I can move on, though, <clears throat> I got to say this. When I was a, a baby Christian, you know, I started re reading the Word of God, and, and God would take me through these things, that He would teach me, and I would have to go look up a bunch of different words so I could understand what was being said. And I'd, I'd, I'd look in multiple different versions so I could understand, God, what are you saying? And I'd pray the Holy Spirit would show me. Would show me. Now, 30-something <clears throat> years down the road, where we are right now, I understand a lot more of the Word of God than I used to, obviously. You should, if you've been around for 30 years. But, I, God is still shows us this, that, you know what? Yes, exactly what I'm saying is what I mean. But if, I, if you drill down into the Hebrew, into the Greek, you will see such a bigger picture. Yeah. Because God's Word is limitless. He is limitless. There's all kinds of layers in His Word. And when you do that, you can get the big picture of yeah. what God's doing, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I want to make sure. Oh, yeah, you can still see it right there, Victory. Okay, here we go. Next slide. Boop. Almost. Boop. <laughs> okay, now, Psalm 18, verse 6. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. Time out. <sighs> Currently, right now, all over the globe, those in Christ, you guys already know, we're going through trials, tribulations, the birth pains. There are times when we are literally in distress. We are like being pinned down in the corner or something like that. And it's almost like the enemy's going and just, just, just launching, right? That happens. And it could be uh, in, in your health, in your finances, in any in area of your life. 
And David says, in my distress, when they were going to come murder me and kill me and slaughter me, in fact, because that's going on also in the ecclesia around the world. Some of our brothers and sisters are being attacked and persecuted and slaughtered right now. And that's why we're praying for them yes. and believing for them. Because when one part of the body hurts, we all hurt. Yeah. Right? Okay. But David says, in my distress, in all those times, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. He heard my voice from his temple. Mm -hmm. And my cry came before him, even into his ears. So he heard. David said, God heard. Don't ever, ever, ever be afraid or ashamed to, to uh, pray for yourself or to pray for, you know, your situation for others. Because some, there's been teachers out there, I just said, over the years, that they, they almost poo-poo praying for yourself. How could you pray for yourself? Right. Well, because I'm in great need. <laughs> Right. right, and we're ha we have a personal relationship with yes, the Lord. Yes. It's not a religion. Mm -mm. And a religious spirit says, don't pray for yourself. Because, right. you know, and, and you see that a lot on TV, oh, when right. they, TV Christians. <laughs> anyway, You're and right. uh, that just really bothered me. Right. It bothers me because we're supposed to have a personal relationship. And if mm -hmm. we need to pray, help me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I love what you say about David. Laurie a lot of times likes to say like David, David acts like a New Testament saint. Yeah. Even though he lived in the he Old has, Testament. He had definitely had a revelation of who Jesus was. Yes, absolutely. Without knowing the whole picture. The whole picture. Right, yeah. right. But God would show him these things. And here's what I mean by that too. Um, <clears throat> in the law, there were certain things that only the priest can do and certain things that the king could do. David, he lived like a royal priesthood. Like he had a grace. Kingly priest, yes. And he lived like under grace. And God says, there's no one like David. He's a man after my own heart. You know what I'm saying? So he lived like a New Testament saint. Yeah. Okay. And he would talk to the saints. Yes, he does in, in his Psalms. Absolutely. Yeah. And so the reason I'm bringing that up is because you're going to see in some of these verses where it's like, it's, it's like how we can live today. Okay, and how we cry out to the Lord God Almighty. And so that's, that's this verse 6, because it's getting ready to go into verse 7. And you're going to see why. So in my distress. So right now, in these times, it is a very distressful time. God's saints, all his ecclesia, all his people, should be crying out to him because he hears. He hears our cry. We are living examples of that. I mean, we now, like you, we've been going through many, many, many things. In all of those situations, good, bad, and ugly, we cry out to yeah. the Lord God Almighty. He hears and He answers us. Right. Because why? Because we're living on faith. There you go. Every we, day we have go. to choose to live on faith. Not by what we see, but by His promises. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> we walk by faith. Look at this. So, this really is all of us right now. So we will cry out to God and he will hear and answer us. So we're going to go into the next verse right here. And I believe, uh, oh, so the verses that we're going to go over right now, I want you guys to ask God to show you, but you're going to see the great and terrible day of the Lord. It is not uh, stated the great and terrible day of the Lord in these verses, but you are going to see the great and terrible day of the Lord. Okay. And what that day is, it's great for all of us who are in Christ and going to be raptured but it is terrible for everyone who's left behind, yeah. right? Okay, and that's, that, that's explained from the beginning to the end of the Bible. So you're gonna see this right now. Now we're gonna go from verse seven to 12 and I will get the little bouncy ball up. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, here we go. Start in verse seven. Then the earth shook and trembled. Wait a minute, right now. The whole earth has been shaking and shaking and shaking. The grapevine down by Bakersfield, how, that swarm of earthquakes, I don't even know how many were over there. But they felt it from Bakersfield to Dodger Stadium in the Chavez, Chavez Ravine. It has been shaking and shaking and shaking. That's just that area. You can go to all kinds of areas over the last few months, last year. This whole earth has been shaking. <laughs> yeah. But it is nothing compared to what is coming. It is nothing compared to what is coming. So then, look at that. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of the hills also quaked and were shaken because he, Almighty God, was angry. He's angry, <laughs> but not at us. He's not angry. He is, he's going to judge sin yeah. once and for all. That seven prophetic years called Jacob's trouble and the wrath of God. That's what that we go before then. And then that starts. And here's why. Look at this. 
because he was angry. Smoke went up from his nostrils, <laughs> his nostrils, okay, and devour and, and devouring fire from his mouth. Now, pause right there for one second. Now, I've had, I, I can't remember now, it's either four or five rapture dreams that I've had in the last two to three years, right? In one of those, we were looking up, and out of the clouds, we, we, we talked about this before, but out of the clouds in this dream that I had, this lion, and I'm saying the lion of the tribe of Judah, this lion's face, head, came out of the clouds. It was all on fire, and he was ah, like that, and out of his mouth was coming fire. That was one of the dreams I had. Mm -hmm. and we, we were going up, and then whoosh, all this fire came out of this lion that was out of the clouds. So this reminds me of that dream right here. And a devouring fl a fire from his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. As we read this, you're going to see other um, scriptures in this, and you're going to see Revelation, and even Daniel, come forth out of it. You'll see this, because here's what happens. Almighty God bowed the heavens also, and came down. He bowed the heavens, and he came down. He came down. Now look what happens when he comes down. With darkness under his feet. Now that's under his feet. We are the body. Christ Jesus is the head. We're the body, right? He comes down. Under our feet is the enemy. Yes. So, just like in uh, Mount Sinai, when, when uh, God came down on Mount Sinai and he burnt the whole top of the mountain, the people saw the, the darkness, right? They saw the darkness of his feet hit the mountain. Okay, now watch this. And he rode upon the cherub and flew. What? And he flew upon the wings of the wind. Now, if you go over to uh, Psalm 68, verse 33, which is God's promise, it says, out of your dream, where Jesus Christ is he's, he's flying on the clouds, on the, mount, uh, on the clouds he's flying, and in your dream, Jesus looked at you, and he, he, waved. <laughs> he waved and smiled at you. <laughs> so it's, I love that. So, this is another picture of that. He's riding upon the, wind, the winds, okay? The wings of the wind. Verse 11, he made darkness his secret place. Now remember, so, outside of God, this is what the people will see outside of God. We're in Christ, okay? Outside, they see this as the great and terrible day. They see the terrible day. They see the darkness. They see all the calamity that's taking place, but we're in him and being taken to him. So there's a, a definite contrast between those two groups of people, okay? His God's canopy around him was dark waters, ooh, and thick clouds of the sky. So, in my opinion, this is a picture of what the people will see. Because we always think, what's the rapture going to be like? What is the great and terrible day of the Lord going to look like? This is beginning to give us a picture. When we're harpazoed and taken in his light, the world will see this. Dark. They will see this right here. Yes, dark yes, water, yes. Dark water, dark sky. Yes, dark clouds, right? The storm, the major storm. Verse 12, from, from the brightness before him, his thick clouds passed with hailstones and coals of fire. Again, speaking to Revelation, the book of Revelation. Those things will be coming down upon the earth. As we go up, those things come down. Yeah. So we gotta remember, get into Christ now so that we're not caught in this massive storm because all of us who are in Christ will not see this. We will be going with him, okay? But again, we got, we're just trying to see the bigger picture. Okay, I hope you guys are getting this. This right here is the beginning. As we take off, this is the beginning of what's gonna be taking place now. The next verse in Psalm 18, verse 13. Okay, I'll get this little ball out again. We got time. Verse 13, the Lord thundered from heaven. Woo -hoo, we're talking loud, loud, loud. Thundered from heaven. Look at this. And the Most High uttered his voice. Now, guys, there are so many scriptures that talk about when, when, when Jesus Christ makes his appearing, Almighty God makes his appearing, and the portal splits open and we see him, he is going to shout with a great shout. The angels are going to shout. The trumpets are going to blow. Oh, there's going to be a great noise. And the people of the earth are going to go... <laughs> Right? And all of us watchmen and people that are looking and love his appearing, we're going to be shouting, Jesus, he's here. So this is what's going on right there. He has uttered his voice. Hailstones, and look at this again. He mentions this again. Hailstones and coals of fire. Think the book of Revelation. Okay, now verse 14. He sent out his arrows and scattered the foe. So the, who's the enemy? The enemy is Satan. So that's our foe, right? We do not fight against flesh and blood. We, we don't get mad and all that against humans, okay? But we rebuke 
the evil spirits that are trying to come against us in those people or in those scenarios. And so, look at this. God sent out his arrows and scattered the foe. Lightnings in abundance. Uh-oh. <laughs> lightnings in abundance. Back to one of my other dreams. These crazy storms that we're getting, people oh. are seeing lightning in abundance. Oh, right, right, right. You know? And even these storms, as bad as they are, and we're praying for you guys on the East Coast. You're being hit with Debbie or Deborah, whatever one it is, and uh, uh, Beria and, and Daniela. We're praying for you guys. I think you guys said it's going through you right now. So there's so many great, terrible things that are going on right now. We're praying for them, okay? Now, lightnings in abundance. I had another dream, that other, another rapture dream. I was looking out our front window, and the sky went purple. <laughs> it was a purple scenario. And then all of a sudden, wham, a massive explosion. And it was like the most lightning I've ever seen, just wham, hitting the ground, and whoosh, got us, and we, we were gone. But these lightnings in abundance. And he vanquished them, who? Our foes. He vanquished our enemy, okay? Now look at this, 15. Then the channels of the sea were seen. There's going to be so much going on, and I, I don't know if this is the waters will recede and we will see things that we've never seen before. Like people will see the, the depths of, and look at this, it says right here, the foundations of the world were uncovered. Right. Well, part okay. of California is slipping into the ocean <laughs> yes. as well as um, some of the northern part. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I just saw a video. It's funny that you talked about the hailstones. Mm -hmm. These these were just, um, well, yeah, hailstones. Anyway, someone, a, a storm was coming, and they covered the windows of their cars in hopes to oh. to prevent it breaking, breaking. their cars. Right. They didn't. They knew a storm was coming with hail. Right, right, so right. So they were trying to protect themselves. Next thing you know, they're yeah. videotaping, and these hell swords are flying into their home. Oh, man. I mean, are breaking you? windows. And they were only about golf size, but they were, fly, they were flying sideways. Wow. So it was hitting. That can knock it. somebody out. Yes, it was very dangerous. Glass was everywhere. And, and that's what the things that we're seeing right now. Right now. So <laughs> these hailstones, if you look at other scriptures, they're going to be, I want to say, somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 pounds. Wow. So if we got 100 pound hailstones coming down with coals of fire, we're gone. Those things are hitting their mass destruction. Can I just say that? Mass destruction. I mean, it's mass destruction. This is not fear. No. Cause, so get on board. Right. Because we're going to miss all these things. The reason I'm doing this yes. right now, guys, I'm going like this. Some of these hairs are wild. Yeah, we have a fan on and it's blowing our hair. <laughs> and it's going in my nose and making me itch. Okay. Now, where are we were. Okay. So the foundations of the world were uncovered. That's going to be crazy. At your rebuke, O Lord, at the Lord's rebuke, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. So all of these things are happening as God announces it, right? Right, right. Wow. And everything that's going on right now is just, you know. A precursor? The birth pain. There you go. The birth pain. The birth pains. That's a great way to put it. Because it is. It yeah. is. The birth pains. Yeah. Okay. And, and guys, it's any time now. Any time. <sighs> I want to say it. I want to say it. But somebody's going to say, you gave us a day and an hour and you don't know. No, okay. Well, read the scriptures. Anytime. We'll just say, hey, anytime. Anytime. All right. <laughs> I'm not making fun of people. I just hear some comments and I, I, I imagine the sound of their voice. And it always sounds like this. <laughs> anyway, here we go. <laughs> I'm acting crazy. So that's 13 through 15. Now, where are we going? Okay. Still in Psalm 18. Now, this is, okay, verse 16. 16 is love. So yes. let's see what a love verse looks like in the Psalm 18. <laughs> so remember. Uh, right to left and circular. So he sent from above, Almighty God, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, he sent from above and he took me. So remember, he paints the picture first of all that disaster that is going on, right? But then right there he says, in love, he took me. Bam. And that word right there is this word right here. Okay? Just for a second, the Hebrew characters, again, Lamed, who is, who is the, uh, the shepherd, Kuf, Kuf, the back of the head, the least, the less, the least. And where is he taking us? Chet. Chet. Yeah, you his say. His home. Right, right. His sanctuary, his inner place, his inner, the holy of holies. We are going to his habitation. Uh -huh. His place where he prepared all of our dwelling places in his habitation. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I just got to say, I am beyond excited, okay? But this is where he's taking us. Now, I want to go a little deeper. So he took me. What does this word mean? I had to show this because, and I'm not, it's, it's huge. This is a very huge word. You may or may not be able to see these words, so I'm just going to read a couple of them. To take, to get, to fetch. Remember, he's coming to fetch us. To lay hold of, to seize. Remember, harpazo is a 
violent snatching away before sudden destruction. So he took me in that time where we, when we needed an escape, he is our escape route. But watch this as well. It also means to acquire, to buy. Remember, he purchased us with his own blood. He bought us. He purchased us. He was our ransom. He paid the ransom. Okay, now look at this. To be married, to take a wife. What? I remember when I took you as my bride, as my wife. He will take us as his bride, as his wife. Right here, he's taken us. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these. Just a couple that might uh, capture... Boom, boom, boom. Okay, right here we're in, in three where it says stolen. Remember, now, Jesus Christ is not a thief. But what? Jesus Christ says, he comes like a thief. I'm going to come like a thief. When those that are not aware, they're not ready, I'm going to come like a thief. And what am I going to take? His treasure. We, all of us in Christ, are his treasure. Mm -hmm. And he's going to, just like a thief, bam, we're gone before all the destruction can happen. Got that? Yeah. So he has taken his bride before all of the destruction will happen. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and also this word actually means also um, like lightning that is flashing about. So all of those lightning things that we just read about, in my, in my, even in my dream, the lightning, when he bursts forth, his light, his yeah. lightning will flash. I, I, I got to say this because I love this part. In Job, we read before, Job wanted to question and debate God. And God says, okay, Job, I'll debate you. Because Job thought he was getting the, the raw end of the deal, right? He was, I'm going through hell here, God. What's going on? I, can I debate you so maybe you can see from my point of view what I'm going through? And God said, go ahead. He saw some things. He goes, but before we start, God said, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Where were you, Job, when I flung the stars? And where were you? When, and he gives all of these things. And in that description, he goes, can you make the, the greatest beast that I have put on there, a behemoth, can you... Does he come to you with good, happy words? And the thiathon? All those guys? Does he come to you with sweet, tender words? No. He only does it to God. He also says, the lightning goes forth and it shouts, here I am. The lightning says, here I am to God. I just think that's wonderful. I love that. And so after God did his little thing first, right. Job says, I got gotcha. you. I bow to you. I, I don't want to debate you, God. I get it. Whatever you want, I want. I mean, it was done. It was a done deal, right? Okay. We have a we have a um, balcony off of our bedroom and sometimes before I go to bed I'll go and, and look at the stars in the sky and I'll shout at them at <laughs> midnight. <laughs> shout at them, Here I am Come get me <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. I'm not gonna not gonna do a sound noise. All okay. Right. Okay, but I love that. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, can I just tell you I love this little thing. This thing is so much fun. It has so many great sounds. And so I get sidetracked. Okay, I get sidetracked. Here we go. You ready? Okay. Next. I don't even know what I got next. I'm going to go next. Okay, here we go. Now, that was that's the love verse right here. So he sent from above. He took me and he drew me out of many waters. In our last video specifically, we talked about the waters. Uh, I believe it was last one. In, in Genesis 1, where he separates the waters. Yeah. The waters represent people, the people of the earth. So there are those who will be left behind, but for us in Christ, he will take us. He will draw us out of many waters. So the other waters will be left like behind. Like 153 fish? Like 153. Give me that. <laughs> Even little, little Billy like that. Okay, yes, exactly. Now, that's verse 16. That's the love verse right there. Now, 17, which is victory. What does it say in the victory verse? We're going to find out right now. Right to left and circular. So, he delivered me from my enemy, my strong enemy. Now look at how it says that right here. God, Almighty God, delivered me from my strong enemy. Remember, our enemy is Satan. Satan is the enemy. So God delivered me, and that word, of course, is not Saul. God harpazoed, rapture, take us away, okay, from our enemy. The enemy will be here, left behind. Now look at this. He also... Um, deliver me from them which hated me yeah. for they were too strong for me now you have to understand this us just being humans okay there's a food chain there's there, there's almighty God who who is the creator of all things the creator of all things created life he started with the invisible realm and then the visible realm okay so he created uh, Lucifer 
and all, you know, which is Satan when he fell, and all the ones that fell with Lucifer. Just human, our life, because we're uh, God, Satan, and all the angels, all the angels and demons, and then man. If we try to go against Satan in our humanity, he is way too strong. We cannot do it. On our own. Right. That's what I'm saying. In our humanity, on our own. In Christ Jesus, we go from man, and then we go above the angels and demons to God, because we are one with Christ Jesus. We are one with our Creator, Almighty God. So in that royal, that's how we come against the enemy, is in Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, right? And so, even though he's too strong on our own, in Christ he is nothing. He is nothing. But either way, God, not Saul, Harpazo, raptures us out of the way. Uh -huh. Right? That makes sense? Yeah. Okay. Whew. Okay, that's 16 and 17. Now let's go on. We're still going. We only have a few more to go. Okay. Now we're going to go verse 18 and 19. Okay. They confronted me in the day of my calamity. So back to that distress when we're go going, you know, uh, going through all the things that we're going through. So in our day of distress, in our day of calamity, they, the enemy, confronted me in that day. But... Remember, but God, but the Lord was my support. Yeah. The Lord is our support. Okay. Even in those days of darkness, he's still the light. He still brings forth the light and shatters the darkness. Okay. He is our support. He also, verse 19, he also brought me into a broad place. Now, I, I just want to explain this just for a second. Because when we're in Christ, God's path is the straight and narrow path. Okay? It is a path of obedience and righteousness. In Christ, we stay on that path. But when we're in that path, God brings us to a broad place. It means a wide expanse. And it goes on forever. So we have sure-footedness. Okay? Now, the broad place is the kingdom of God. We, God brings us into, even though we're physically here now, we are also one with him, so we are there as well. We are on that broad place, that expanse, where we have sure-footedness, where we won't slip and fall, where he has us all together, okay? So that's that broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. And of course, delivered me, this word right here is this, to remove, to draw out, to draw off, to take. But it also means to equip for war. He is our rescuer. He is our arm of war. Okay, so it's, it's a different type of deliverance. It's also an equipping. It's an equipping. Ah, and that, that's a whole other video. And we should do that, you know, talking about how we are equipped by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Oh, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. So that's what this word is. Yes, he's going to take us and deliver us. But at the same time, he has equipped us for war, for battle. He gave us authority. Yes, yes. Yes, and there is a difference. And it, okay, he equipped us with authority and power. And power. Now, authority. For him. Yes. Okay. I, I think I've used this one before in the past, but I'm going to show you a little bit between, difference between power and authority. And this is a real scenario that happened to me when I was in Virginia. Um, we were we were parking, getting ready to go to our job, right? And uh, and and on we were on the, we were on the side of the road. Well, this car was flying because the cop, there was a policeman in the road giving a ticket to somebody else. It wasn't me. I didn't get the ticket. <laughs> it might have been my friend, actually. I think it was Rob Smith. But anyway, the cop was there. And this other car was flying down the road towards us. I've never seen this before, and I've never seen it since. This big policeman, this officer, this cop who has his hat, his uniform, his badge, his gun, his sidearm, right? He see he notices that this car, this car is flying down the road. He gets in the middle of the road, and all he does is he puts his hand out like that to stop. He doesn't even say a word. He just went like that to stop. This car locks up his brakes. <laughs> I'm thinking we're probably going to see a dead cop in a second, but he was like, and the car stopped right in front of his hand. And I am not making this up. I am not making this up. Why did that car, that car physically could have ran right over him and destroyed this guy. God was showing me the difference between power and authority. This officer of the law has authority and he used it in faith and that car immediately stopped. 
It was amazing. Now, in that authority, so we have Almighty God's authority. Whatever he tells us in his word, we have that authority to do that to the enemy. And then, not just that, we have the dunamis power of God to annihilate the enemy. Does that make sense? So we have authority and power. And that's how he equips us for war. And we're going to, we might have to do a video on that, on, on equipping, because that's just too cool. Okay. Anyway, um, there you go. Look at this. To take away, to plunder. Remember, Jesus comes in like a thief. He plunders the camp of the enemy. Yeah. He takes us out of here. Because remember, uh, the, the Satan is the god of this world. Little g, god of this world. This is his beast system, right? Yeah. We're in it. We have to, but we're, we're not from here, but we're in it. We are from a whole nother realm, yeah. but we live here. We're aliens. They we're aliens, and God's going to take us to the mothership. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Okay, 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 enough on that one. Okay, so that is uh, there. I hope we got that. Boom. And now this last part right here where it says, He delighted in me. We're going to learn in a little bit. The only way that God delights in us is when we come into Him. We humbly come before, we're sinners saved by grace. So we come humbly before God and He delights in us. We are in Christ, so He loves us. He delights in us, right? When he looks at us, he sees Christ. Mm -hmm. He sees the blood. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Whew. Okay. And and David obviously had a revelation of that Absolutely. because Go ahead. you know, like um, when he danced before the Lord. Oh yeah. You know, it was a sacrifice of praise. Mm. It was a sacrifice of saying, "I am being humble right. before the Lord." Right. Even though I look foolish on the outside. I don't care. I'm yeah. doing it for God. Right. And how do we know that David looked foolish when he was dancing, you know, before God and the ark was coming in and all that? Because his wife and others were like, oh, face it, you should be ashamed. Look at you. Oh. And they were they were mad because the way that David was worshiping God. He was dancing like a crazy man. It all for God, though. It was all for God. Yeah. And God blessed him. God blessed him. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm loving this. Okay, now. Verse, uh, we're going to go so, so Psalm 18, verse 20 through 24. Now watch this. i got to get my little uh, bouncy ball out for a second. Excuse me, verse 20. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. Now we know, and we, we always have to look at the Old Testament in the goggles, the viewfinder of the New Testament. So we're looking from where we stand in the New Testament, and that is all about grace. The only way we have righteousness is this. When we receive Jesus Christ, we receive him as our God. Yeah. He washes us with his blood, cleanses us inside and out, separates us from all sin. Then he puts his righteousness in us and upon us. Mm -hmm. His righteousness. And he fills us and seals us with his Holy Spirit. Yes. And he marks us ready for pickup. That's, right. That's what God does. So it is his righteousness in us. That's the only way we are righteous. Now, According to the clean, clean, cleanness, cleanness of our hands. My hand, our hands. Now, again, cleanness of our hands, the, we're washed in the blood. Mm -hmm. If I was not washed in the blood, I'd be dirty. But I am washed in the blood and I'm cleansed. That's the only way. It's Jesus Christ and Him and Him alone. Okay? Now, He has recompensed me. Yes, I had to look it up. He restores. He refreshes and he repairs us who are in Christ. Right there. Recompense. It means we are we turn to him. It even gives the example of like a repentance where we turn away from sin and we turn to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So he can restore, refresh, and repair. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I love that. That is amazing because it's all him. Now, let me go back to the bouncy ball. Okay. Restores, he restores, refreshes, and repairs us. 21. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. We are doing that daily. It is a daily thing. To, now, this is not talking about someone who is perfect. None of us are perfect. No. None. Of, we all fall short of the glory of God. Okay? We all need God's forgiveness, His salvation, His righteousness. Everything that He has, He gives us. So, I have kept the ways of the Lord. His word, He shows us His way. When you pray and communicate to Him, He shows us His way. Yeah. Right? And the way is what? We walk by faith, not by sight. This is the way. Yeah. He is. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. The only way you can come to the Father is in, through, and by Jesus Christ. Okay. Now, and have not, uh, and have not wickedly departed from our God. So, it, it, this, it's a focus thing. 
Yes, we might get sidetracked. Yes, we might do this. And God is so amazing. He chastens us. He corrects us. He guides us to keep us on the path of righteousness, on the path of obedience. That's what he does. And, and we respond by saying, yes, God. And, and, and we move forward with God, right? So, and remember, he tells that story. When he, uh, he has the 100 sheep and one goes astray, he leaves the 99. Why? Because they are secure in him. And he goes out and he gets that, <laughs> that other one. He said, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you. Come here. I love you, you little goofy guy. Come back over here. And he brings us back. That's what God does all the time. Verse 22. For all his judgments were before me. Now, when God judges us, all of us who are in Christ, he sees what? He sees the blood and he passes over. He sees Christ Jesus and we get his righteousness. Amen. Right? It's thank all about Lord. him. Yes, thank you. We are so weak, but he is so we strong. We escape the judgment. Escape. Yes, we escape the judgment. Thank you very much. Yes, we escape the judgment. And I did not put away his statutes from me. His ways, his uh, words, his word, everything he shows us, everything that's about him. They have not, I did not put them away, but they're before my eyes daily. He's before my eyes daily, right? Okay, that's what, that's what we do. Now, verse 23, I was also blameless before him. And again, so David, just, he keeps repeating, okay? And all of this in New Testament speak is grace, 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 grace. We receive his grace through his faith. We are saved. His, his free gift, not our works. We can't boast. It is all about his free gift of salvation, and we receive it by faith. Okay, and I kept myself from my iniquity. Now that is the job of the Holy Spirit in the New Testament. He, uh, oh wow, I used to, God taught us this a long time ago. And you say this all the time. When we are in Christ, the Holy Spirit is moving in us. We can't get away with anything. Right. <laughs> Can I give an example of my daddy? My daddy's passed away, but when he got saved, right after he got saved, I think this is a funny story because it has this example. My dad was a lot like me before we got saved. Liar, cheater, scammer, all about himself, you know, greedy, all those things. God got a hold of him, and I, I got to see this fruit. We were at a store, and uh, I, uh, he, was, he went to a store, I want to say it was J.C. Penney's. He went to go pay his bill, okay, and I went with him. <clears throat> and this is right after he got saved. And he went, and I went with him to the window, and he paid his bill in cash, and they gave him um, back money, right, but they gave him a lot of money. Way more than they should have given. It was, a, it was an amount that even I went, hmm. And I didn't say a word. I was with him right there, and I just looked at the amount, and I went, hmm. And I'm in my mind, I want to, I want to see what my dad would do. Because the old, my old dad would have scooped it, put it in his pocket, and we would have ran. That, that's the old us. But what my dad was, he took the money, he turned, and he, we walked away from the And I didn't say a word. I didn't say a word. He walked down the aisle. The money's in his hand. And then he walked to the right. And then he walked to the right and he went right back to the window and he goes I'm sorry but you gave me too much money and I went my jaw dropped and I I pulled one of those I did I literally because I never thought my dad would do that because I seen him in that scenario before God the Holy Spirit worked on him in that time and he went back to the window and he gave the money back and I just went like this I said dad I know that is God because I know you and I explained to him, and, and it was God who did it. I didn't have to say a word. I said nothing. But the Holy Spirit guided him to do what is right. Does that make sense? Yes. And you, some of you might think uh, that's a little thing, but me it's knowing... It's a character thing. It is a character thing. Even when no one sees you, are you going to do what the Holy the right Spirit thing. is doing? Right, 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 right. And we all go through that, but that was a great real-life example, and I just rejoiced in the Lord when, when I saw that. Okay. Um, okay, verse 24. Therefore, the Lord has recompensed me, right there, restored me, refreshed me, and repaired me according to, it says my righteousness, but we know in the New Testament, according to his righteousness. Mm -hmm. So we're doing all those things with the Holy Spirit. We co-labor with Christ Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit to accomplish the perfect will of our Heavenly Father. It's all, we're all working together. Yeah. He's one. He's one with us. And so that's what this happens in according to his righteousness. Now, according to the cleanly, cleanness of of my hands in his sight. Now that's a perfect way to end that. In his sight. My hands are dirty, but in Christ they are clean. The blood of Jesus Christ washes all of us in, who are in Christ clean. Yeah. In his sight we are clean and made perfect. Right. 
And you know, um, it's funny because um, we'll be in white white robes, white garments right. when the Lord transforms us. And I saw this phrasing, and it was um, surpassingly white, glistening. Yes. Glistening. Yes. Isn't that a beautiful, those, yeah, a beautiful way to describe it? Yes. And those are the robes of righteousness that God puts on us. And if you read Revelation, it's a very specific kind of robe. It's a very specific Greek word, which is not a tribulation saint. It is us in the ecclesia right now who are going to go with God before Jacob's trouble. Amen. Yes. Oh, I can go on and on. I mean, this is great, right? Okay. Now, uh, I don't remember what I have next. It is Psalm 18. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this is the end of, of the scriptures that we're going to use for this. But here we go. We're making... Yeah, we're making good time. 119. Now, 19's faith. Here we go. Okay, this is how we look at this. Verse 46. The Lord lives. He is alive. Amen. He is alive. Blessed be my rock. Capital R. We're talking about Jesus Christ. He is our rock. And of course, everything that we've learned so far, what that word means. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. Be lifted high. Be built up. We are exalting you and lifting you on high. And Jesus says, if you lift me up, I will draw all unto myself. Okay? So, he is being lifted up. It is God who avenges me. He is our avenger. And we did a video on that. Yeah. God is our avenger. So, God avenges us. And subdues the peoples under our feet. Now, again, we're not talking humans. We're talking the enemy. The enemy is under our feet. For all of us who are in Christ Jesus, the enemy is under our feet. He delivers me from my enemies. Again, deliver, deliver. He delivers us from our enemies. You also lift me up above those who rise against me. This sums up what we just learned. And, and, and what we're going through right now, all of the enemies that are camped around us, he will deliver us from all of our enemies, okay? And he lifts us up above them. That's another good picture right there. We're going to be lifted up. We're going to be taken, harpazoed, raptured. Look at this. You have delivered me from the violent man. Once again, when it, it's singular. Satan. You have delivered me from Satan. I am free and set free. Mm -hmm. he'll, he'll, Satan will be cast down to this earth. We'll be going back up. Bang, bang, play. It's all happening right here, okay? Verse 49. Therefore, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the Gentiles. So take that. We are in uh, the world. All the world's people, okay? All the Gentiles. We, therefore, will give thanks to you, O Lord, Almighty God, and sing praises to your name. That's our job. Amen. To celebrate. To, to celebrate like David celebrated. And, 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 and in the Holy Spirit, we are excited and we dance and we rejoice and we sing and we are glad. And it's, we're just giving praises and honor and glory to God Almighty. Right? Yes. Whew. And that, all of that right there, back to this picture. So all that whole, I, can I, wow, how do we sum this up? Almighty God has a plan, and he's going to take us out of here before Jacob's trouble and the wrath of God come. It is, is plainly seen there, and you can use the numbers and see, you know, maybe seasons and dates and all those things. We know Pentecost, you know, is coming right here, the Feast of New Wine. Do you want to say anything right here? Well, um, just that, I mean, you know, Israel is in the middle of a oh. mm. conflict. A and, massive um, conflict. You know, it's, it's about ready to start, you know. Right. It's about ready to go. And there's so many watchmen that are talking about that right now. Because uh, we are to keep our eyes on Israel, right? To, to see what's going on over there. And they are surrounded. Just like the Word of God says, they are surrounded. They're getting ready to be um, attacked. And, uh, and from, it looks like, all different sides. Uh, the leaders of Israel right now, as you may or may not know, have gone into the bunkers below Jerusalem. Just saying. Just saying. So everything is getting set up. The ninth of Av, which if you guys don't know, do some research. And I'm sure you guys know, but if you don't know, the ninth of Av is the worst time uh, in history when it comes to Israel. Okay, the Jewish nation. The first temple was destroyed by the Babylonians. The second temple was destroyed by the Romans, both on the ninth of Av. The ninth of Av is just down the road from us right now, and we, being the third temple, if you want to say it like that, because we are the temple, we are the the bride, 
both the body, the tribe, which is the family, and the temple of God. Okay? So, can we be taken out of here as the temple right in front of them? And that, that turns Israel to right. jealousy right. and points them to God. They go, uh-oh. Because now yeah. they're going to see whom they have pierced and declare, blessed is he who comes right. in the name of the Lord. They have to be turned to God. I think that every video that we've made <clears throat> talks about scriptures that say that we escape before the judgment. Right. Before the trouble. Right. Before the... Before the, the wrath. Before the, before the. Right, exactly. It's the before the. <laughs> <laughs> we, all these scriptures are the before, before the. And it's true. From beginning to end, through prophetic pictures and stating it flat out, God's people are not assigned to his wrath. Right. We are assigned to deliverance. Right. Harpazzo, not so. All the great escape, right? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's mm -hmm. can I just say, I love how God has been showing us over and over and over. Almost all of our videos pointing to his great escape. Yeah. It is his great escape. Yes. Yeah, so people that sit there and go, uh, where is rapture in the Bible? And how do you know that you're going to you're gonna go through uh, Jacob's trouble and all? Mm -mm. From beginning to end of the word of God, we are out of here before it comes. It's everywhere, all over the Bible. Yeah. And it's said in different ways and in different times and in different, I mean, it's in the beginning to the end. Right, right. All those beautiful, can I just say, yeah. beautiful descriptions and pictures that God showed us about the women in the Bible. And what, uh, they're, I love them all, but Zipporah, my soul shall escape from the fowler's hand as a bird. And that word bird is Zipporah. It, which, yeah. And Zipporah is Harpazo, which is rapture. It's on and on and on. And it, it, it talks about the watchman. Oh, wow. If you're, yeah, okay, I just, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much. I have such a great time. Yeah. Whew. So, did you get something out of this? Uh-huh. I hope you guys got something out of this. I we're love gonna, it. Yeah, we're going to, it's just, it's just. I can't it, wait. High upon a hill. I want to find one of these. The light goes on. Hopefully the light goes on for all of you guys. And you can see now, again and again and again, how God is taking care of us. And he's taking us home to the place that he prepared for us. Oh, I, I can't overstate that. Okay. Whew. So that's Psalm 18. Oh, let's go. <sighs> let's go home. Let's can, go. Can, we, can we pray? I, 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 go, okay. You yeah. going to say something? Go ahead. I've been sensing, uh, and I, 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 not that I, I know, literally, God's shown us and, and, and people have talked about it where some are going through so much pain right now. They're going through so much hurt right now. They are literally being slaughtered right now, okay? Yes. And, 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 and I, want, I would like to pray right. for all those who are facing dark times because God is bringing in his light to shatter the darkness. Right. Can we pray that? Yeah. Is that okay? And anything else yeah, you've got? Go ahead. Um, one of the things uh, that the Lord is really showing me is that um, a spirit of witchcraft mm -hmm. is running rampant. Go and um, one of the things that I felt, then this is just in the last, this last year, okay. that the Lord showed me to pray against witchcraft oh, coming okay. against you. Like in a way, like, like they're putting curses on us and we're to rebuke the curses. Right. Like if we get a sickness, I bind all curses against right. me in Jesus name right. that would try to cause me to fall during this there time you or right you know and, and, and we have to explain this because some christians believe that um you know witches there's no witches and they don't they don't do that they have no power they listen <clears throat> we are in christ we're covered in the blood we are protected he is our force field of protection yes mm -hmm. also attacks can come I, I always i see it like this like at paintball <clears throat> paintball can't kill you but it, those things really can hurt yeah <laughs> they can really hurt right but god heals all that and then once he god wakes us up that we are being attacked we come against those things in the name of jesus christ right. and the holy spirit mm -hmm. drives those forces back yes right and so and continuing saying that that they are trying to put a witch in the white house go ahead and say it <laughs> and um this witchcraft of lies oh of yeah deceit, yes of um muck <laughs> muck and mire mucky yeah. okay yeah and um, it's funny because uh, I heard that they had given the new possible VP oh. a new nickname, which <laughs> would be, forgive me, Tampon Tim. And the Lord showed me 
that in his word it called you know it's filthy rags there you go filthy rags and um yep anyway and i know that that relates to something different but he told me that right well all of our works are as filthy rags right. our works right so because th those it's things deceptive are exactly and we, if we're moving on our own right. yes and anyway so um one of the things that I really feel like if we could, as a bride, to pray against a spirit of witchcraft over America. Right, which is uh, sort of led by Jezebel. Yes. The spirit of Jezebel. Yes. It, it it's, all, it's, it's a whole Jezebel, Ahab thing exactly. coming up. And, yep. you know, that's what they want to keep it at. Yes. And, you know, um, so anyway. Yeah, that's, no, that's great. That's something that we can pray. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let, let's yeah, can we pray let's with do that? It. Okay. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by your Holy Spirit, we thank you, first of all. We thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you have us in you, in your fortress. You are our refuge and our strength, our very present help in time of trouble. So God, in the name of Jesus Christ, by your Holy Spirit, we speak against the spirit of Jezebel and all the spirits of witchcraft that are trying to come against the bride. We rebuke them, we renounce them, forsake them, we cast them aside in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. yes. God, speak forth your truth. Yes. Expose all the lies. Expose and shatter the darkness, God. And bring yes. those people that are of the enemy to their knees. And may they turn, may those humans that are being controlled by those evil spirits, may they turn to you, God, so that they can see the truth. But God... All of them we rebuke yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. All those enemies, yes. all those things, all the darkness we rebuke because your light shatters it. Mm -hmm. We thank you, God Almighty. Yeah. Let your people rejoice and shout for joy and just beam from the top of the mountains. We beam with your light and that you would draw all people to your light, Lord God Almighty, before it's too late. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. Father, and, go yeah. ahead, go ahead. No. And Lord God, we just pray. Um, I can. I want to continue on the spirit of witchcraft. Go ahead, Father God. All leadership who Thank is God. operating in a spirit of witchcraft, I pray yes. that you expose, that yes. you would uh, yes, get God. rid of, Father yes. God, in Jesus' name. Yes. Father God, let us, as the bride, take over yes. what is spiritually seems to be dominating over us. We bind it in Jesus' name, and we pray, Lord, that that you are brought to glory, yes. Father God, that yes. we glorify you as a nation, as a bride, yes. and around the world, yes. Father God. Let us lift you up in Jesus' name. Yes, God. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And, and can I say this? All these things that are going against us, I, I sense, I just sense that there's a lot of people that are feeling the pressure and that pressure is being um, seen in your back and you're having back problems. You're having, uh, it's like constraining you. You have pains in the back and because you're, you feel like you're being crushed and, and the, then the back pain is a sign of that. So Lord God Almighty, Almighty God, we speak healing into every single person that is having back problems and back pain and people even say you might need surgery. We speak healing in the name of Jesus Christ that you wouldn't even need surgery, that you would have relief upon your spine, your upper back all the way to your lower back. Your spine has been relieved and we release healing and life, yes. life Lord God, yes. pain free. Yes. That you can lift up, raise up your hands and rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ. We set that forward right now, God. Yes. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Christ Jesus, by your Holy Spirit. Freedom. Lightness. Lightness. Yes. You, you got anything else? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't really want to like sure. I, I saw the Lord, you know, like, here is where we will shed tears. But we will not shed tears in heaven. Amen. 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 So we receive from you, Lord this God. This is as close to hell as we'll ever get. Amen. That is correct. That is correct. So if you guys need that kind of prayer, just, just believe with us and we receive in the name of Jesus Christ. And we, Lambano, we reach up and we take it from God because he's given it to us. But we have, a, it's an active word. So we receive by faith. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. Whew. Power. Power. <laughs> Power. I don't even know if I have anything on here. Can I, can I see? 
Jesus Christ is coming, the whole earth is shaking. Yeah. We talked about that, all yeah. the earthquakes and all those things. Yeah, uh, California is so, uh, God is so good because I have been praying that he would protect California mm -hmm. until we go. Yes. And <laughs> could we live here? There's like, what, 300 earthquakes happening in right. the mountains, in, a, in an area. Well, there are, is the highways there, but right. but pretty much it's just... It's in a w area where not a lot of people live. Right. Right, right? Right. Uh -huh. right. <clears throat> and it's yeah. just a lot of things going on, you right. know. <laughs> but there's also revival happening in California. Yes. You know, I mean, yeah. Yes, so, there is. So we are still here and we can still, you know... We have a job dominate. to do, right? And we we dominate. Let's That's, dominate. Domi the enemy. Yes. Yeah. In fact, to the enemy, you're getting blown away. Blown away. I mean, uh, the yeah. weapons of our warfare are not man-made. When he reminds you of your past, you remind him of his future. I love it. 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 Whew. Okay. I think we had. We, uh, did you have enough of that one? That's good. That was fun. That was fun. I hope you guys had fun. Now, if you're not in the ark, if you're not in Christ Jesus, get into him now before it's too late. Because literally that the door is a very small time. Just saying, very small time. So look at this. Love is the giving of yourself to others at your own expense. John 3.16. Can you read this with your beautiful voice? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish... That's right. Shall not perish. That's right. But have everlasting life. <sighs> yes, and that is the gospel. Mm. And you can find the gospel in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Text that lays out the whole gospel. It's all about Jesus Christ, his life, death, burial, resurrection in three days. He ascended and was taken and he's returning any moment. Right over there. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. We already did this, but it's by grace through faith. Salvation is. It's his free gift to us. Not of our works. Not of our works. It is his free gift to us. And we receive salvation. And Romans chapter 10, 8 through 10. Your beautiful voice once again, if you don't mind. Right here, verse 9. That if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Mm -hmm. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Yes. You will be, be saved. saved. Believe it because it's true. Yes. It is so true. And yeah. he, he's coming. Right. He is coming. He is coming. And I, all, we are watchmen. All we can do is announce what God shows us. We don't try to argue with people. Or not. It's like, here's the word of God. You take it before God. We're announcing it because we have to. Or I, we have to. <laughs> we have to announce. So this is what we announce. Right? Amen. And why are we announcing? Go ahead. The bridegroom is returning for his bride. Look up. Be ready. We gone, ladies and gentlemen. We are almost out of here. We're blowing this popsicle stand. Can't wait to see you guys. That's right. I, honestly. Yes. We, yes, we all want to see Jesus Christ and be with him. And we all want to meet the one another's. I can't wait to be in a community oh. of lovers of Christ. Yes, yes. Yes. Forever. For eternity. We have. We still. Guys, our work is that's not done. When we get up there, we, he has so much for us. We're gonna be, it's going to be amazing uh, beyond our words. Right? Okay, I, I, I can go on another video. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah. We love you all. What do you yes. want to say? Anything? Maranatha. There you go. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Love you guys. <laughs> Adios.